Welcome back. Ever get a strained neck while at your desk at work or have your leg go numb? Local Fines Wendy Cushel checked in with a local occupational therapist on how to make your workspace work better for your body. Gail Picard is an occupational therapist at Aurora Baycare Medical Center. She assesses workstations for a living and recently helped Lori McElrone, who works in clinical research. Six or eight months, my um, one arm started getting numb and then it would get cold and my fingernails would kind of get purple. Turns out she had bone spurs on her spine. She also has osteoarthritis. Well, the first thing I noticed, she was in a chair that was not adjustable. You need the seat to be adjustable, the armrest to be adjustable, and the back to be adjustable, and then the height to be adjustable. It was amazing. I mean, the biggest thing was when she brought the chair up. I mean, when I sat in it and I put my arms up, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is how it's supposed to be. I mean, immediately. They also adjusted the height of her computer monitor and gave her a solid footstool that supported her feet. Especially with neck pain, you don't want someone looking up or looking down. You want their monitor to be at their eye level, so the first two inches of the screen, I mean, their eyes reach the first two inches of the screen. She, you know, she taught me, you know, actually better posture and, um, and then where, you know, how the computer should sit and so move some of those things around. And it immediately made a big difference. <laughs> Picard says your feet need to be flat on the floor, ankles, knees, hips, and elbows at 90 degrees. One final tip from occupational therapist Picard. If sitting at a desk, you should get up and move about every 30 to 45 minutes. To speak with an Aurora Baycare occupational therapist, you can call the number on your screen or email them at healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. That's Health Watch. I'm Wendy Cushel, Local 5 News HD.